Hi everyone, this is Anjal Soni. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss two quick formatting tips which prove to be extremely valuable while designing dashboards. Here you can see I have three examples. The first two examples pertain to one formatting tip and the third example pertains to the other one. In the first example, you can see, in spite I have a border for this container, I can still see the sheets border, this black one. So we'll learn how you can remove this uh, sheet border. In the second example, uh, as you notice, we have an underline beneath the field value. Uh, this usually happens when you bring in your dimension field over to the text mark card so we will learn how you can remove this underline and in the third example whenever we create custom buttons usually you need to um, create a deselect functionality because whenever you click on the button it stays selected um, so the selection uh, you can make out the selection by this border, this black border that you see here. So we'll learn how you can remove this border whenever you click on this button. Uh, so let's get started. I'm directly going to this sheet. Uh, you can do the formatting from dashboard as well, but I will show you how you can accomplish this at sheet level. So... I'll go to the sheet. Okay. So we need to remove this black border. Just go to format menu. Choose font. And you'll see uh, you have this sheet tab under the text. Go to worksheet drop down. And choose your uh, matching background color. So here the background color is white. So I'm going to choose it as white. And you'll see that border disappears. In your case, it might happen that this text also goes blank. You don't see anything. It is because I have customized a color over here. That's why I'm able to see this color. If it was the default color, then this text would have gone blank. So in that case, what you'll have to do is go to this text and choose the color. Maybe the, even if you want the default color, go and select it from here. So whatever color you want, you can just select it from here and your text color will stay as it is, but your border will go. Let's talk about the um, second example where we see the underline. Let's go to the sheet. We're going to perform the same action for this example as well. So I have segment over text card and I will go to format menu and choose font and I will land in this panel so here again i have to go to worksheet and choose white color so i soon as uh, i choose a white color or a color matching the background i notice that the underline no longer uh, is visible like it is there it exists as you see if i click on corporate you can see there's a line but it is matching to the background that's why it's it's not clearly visible to us now, we, this was the first tip. Now, in the second tip, uh, we'll discuss how to remove uh, this uh, selection from a custom button. So, let's go to this worksheet. Now, um, the trick here is you need to create a, a false condition. So, just create true and false uh, calculated fields. I have them created here. I'll just show you. So I have a calculation called as calc true, which just includes a, um, a true um, keyword. That's all. So I click OK. And the similar uh, has been done for false condition. So I have bought both these fields to the detail card. Uh, now, uh, when I go to dashboard, I will go to dashboard menu and choose actions here i need to apply an action filter so i will choose add action filter and uh, i want to do this for shape sheet um, and target sheet here would be shape so remember uh, in your source sheets it should be the sheet from your dashboard and in the target sheets it should be your actual sheet 
okay uh, then choose selected fields and add in filter so you want to add true condition here and in the next option you want to add the false condition over here so uh, as soon as you add this uh, just run the action on select and click on show all values which gets auto selected but yes remember that you have to uh, keep this option selected and click ok ok now let's click on reset filters you see as soon as I click on reset filters that black border doesn't stay it goes off immediately so these were the two quick tips do try this out um, that's all for this video thank you